Hey, Summers. Hi, everyone. Welcome to Make Two and Another Neighbor Visit. So this is Megan's town, and she invited us to this house on the mainland next to the bridge to the island. Okay, so the house is on a premium sized lot, which gives it room for a really big pool and patio in the back. And it's got a basement, and it's also on five floors. So, wow. yeah. Okay, a big property with lots to get through. Mm. So, this, where the ferry just flew out of, is the foyer, the entryway. And to the left is a really big formal dining room. I really like the French chairs contrasted with this, I think it's the elegant dining table is what it's called, and lots of windows in the walls. Over on the other side is really big kitchen, wraparound counters with bar seating. I really like seeing that. And then there's just a restroom. Uh, from one side, on the other side, I think just a storage room, maybe that's a pantry. Pantry, yeah. Yeah. Cool. And then in the back here is a very nice patio. Ooh, I really like what Megan's done with the flower stands. Yeah, putting them all together like that. Yeah, we've seen that done for the little fountain. Yeah. But yeah, that's actually, why not do it with those corner units as well? Yeah, exactly. And then some place stuff for a toddler. So there's a toddler in this house. And here's the really big pool. Nice, huh? Yeah, it's nice to have interesting shapes for a pool. Yeah. So... Should we do the basement first or... Sure, let's, let's do, do the, the basement. basement. Cool. So the basement is kind of a play and lounge area for Sims. You've got the stairwell coming down in here. On the left side is a... Well, yeah, it looks like a playroom for toddler and also for adults. They can do putt-putt and ping-pong down here. And there's a cinema room here, yeah. all in black, so... Well, I like these swanky black and red couches. Yeah, I really like those couches. Yes, yeah. I've actually not used them very much in my town, but they're really cool looking. Yeah, I'm sure I got them somewhere, but I don't remember where. I like that they come with the pillows. Mm -hmm. Yep. And there's one more room, which is more of a formal, slightly more formal dining room, but slightly more formal living room and also a library. Yeah. And a bathroom. Yeah. So going up now to the second floor, you come out into this small hallway stairwell here. And let's see, on the right side, toddler and baby room. How cute. Wow, that is a really big room. <laughs> I'm sure the toddler is super happy with that, as long as the baby behaves yeah. himself or herself. The baby's in the crib. Yeah, so cute. Actually... Yeah, and I like that the floors and walls are sort of all in this yeah white theme or off-white theme. That is a really good kind of unifying detail to have in a house, especially a family home. And there's... Off the two, back here yeah. is a closet, yeah. And a, a closet which leads on to an ensuite bathroom and a door outside to a private balcony just for the toddler. <laughs> well, you know, maybe their nanny, obviously they yeah. are a very rich family, so maybe they have a nanny. Their nanny brings them out onto the yeah. balcony and you gotta get some fresh air. Nice. And on the other side of the stairwell is... I'm going to say this is maybe a teenager's room because of the instruments and the pile of clothes in the corner. Yeah, it looks like both sides are mirrored in terms of the size of the room. And there's also then a same private balcony, yeah. same private dressing room and same private ensuite, which I think is, is nice. But obviously yeah. the bedroom itself looks very different. A mm -hmm. budding musician <laughs> with guitar, drums, keyboard, microphone yeah. and the ubiquitous pile of clothes. And Megan's gone for the teen basketball door also, mm -hmm. which I think... I mean, because it's white, it matches very well with the decorating scheme of the house also. Yeah, those doors are also here. And then, going up to the third floor, you get into more of an adult quarters, I would say. So here's another living room on the left of the stairwell. I really like Megan's use of brown to decorate this room. It matches the grandfather clock as well. And, and that has an ensuite 
but not long suite, a bathroom next to it. Yes. A powder room next to it and leads on to another yeah. balcony with a nice table. This is sort of a cozy yeah. balcony that fits in between the gap between, you know, one section and another. Yeah. That's really cool. I think there is a lot of interesting balcony work from which we, you might have seen from the town map view before we entered the house, but a lot of interesting balcony work in this house. Then on the other side of the stairwell, so there's like a whole separate entry. <laughs> yeah, it's like its own private hallway. Yeah. A big bedroom. Mm-hmm. Open out onto a second balcony on this floor. Yeah. And also with space for another little room opening up into a little dressing room. Yep. Leading on to another ensuite. So all of these bedroom bedroom suites are very well specced. And again with color scheme, I think Megan has gone with more of a tan color scheme on this side with the tiling and the flooring and also the bathroom decorations. I think that's really cool. Great attention to detail there. So then going up to the fourth floor. Hmm. Okay, so this is a slightly smaller floor plan. Some of the balconies eaten up into some of the floor space of the building. Yeah. Which actually gives a nice effect. So you also have this really big balcony. Mm Mm-hmm. And then from the stairwell, looks like you have a dressing room on the left, and then a really nice big bathroom, sort of similar spec to that one we were just looking at before, the tan. Yeah, I'm going to say that this is some sort of master suite for maybe the homeowner, because they're, basically they take up the entire floor. So this is their bedroom here, decorated in black and red, Mm. and, ooh, very, uh, spooky kind of look to this corner but I like it I like it very dramatic and yeah so they have their bedroom here and then you know just this entire thing is their dressing room and bathroom very very swanky so what could possibly be on the fifth floor let's see on the fifth floor is yeah a kind of lounge room with a bar I really like the ability to have this bar here and then let's say this is where you keep all your glasses and things as well for the bar and I like these couches they're all they're super fun it's hard to place them in a lot of houses without well for me anyway it's, I, I find them hard to place I think you need you can't have too much clutter around them because then they just clash yeah but here because you have quite a large space yes with quite soft cut muted colors I yes think it works out yeah perfectly. if they're allowed to yeah stand by themselves then they become like mm-hmm. the centerpiece of a room yeah. yeah and then look at this balcony very cool yeah so obviously a grill and a place to eat and another table so yeah this is the place to this is like the party floor. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the rich family invites <laughs> their many guests over, and then they yeah, have a nice look the lookout wow. and onto the ocean. And onto of the course. ocean. Yeah, I like that. Now that we have these fifth floors, we can see so much more kind of of a view from the top of these big buildings. So very cool. Thank you so much to Megan for inviting us to this really awesome house, and. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the tour as well. If you have, please give this video a thumbs up and let Megan know what your favourite part of her impressive family home is in the comments below. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you can stay up to date with our videos as they become available because more are on the way. Thanks for watching.